Big thanks to Clean My Mac for sponsoring my WWDC coverage. Hey guys, it's Carl, and from WWDC, these are your iOS 15 highlights and what you need to know. The first area that they're focusing on is staying connected. Like I said, in this entire pandemic, a lot of us have been using, say, FaceTime to stay connected, so that's the first improvement. They're trying to make conversations through FaceTime be a bit more natural, so they're introducing spatial audio. Spatial audio will bring in voice isolation to ensure all the distracting outside sounds will be minimized and focused on just your voice. Grid view, you'll be able to see different people in the call, all with the same size tile. And portrait view, just like portrait mode, it has the blurred out effect in the background and it'll just focus on your face. And just like a Zoom link meeting invite, you now have something called a FaceTime link. So you can set a pre-existing FaceTime call. So if you want to chat with some of your friends at 4 p.m., you can send that link to them and that works through iOS, Android, Windows, and you can launch that right from your browser. You also have something called SharePlay and the name implies you can share content with someone on that FaceTime call. Whether that's audio, listening to the same music, you can even share the same video, watch the same content together. You can essentially share anything you're doing on your iPhone, whether you're streaming Twitch, watching sports, browsing to buy a new house with your friend, but I am kind of hoping we end up doing that more in person, but those are the updates to FaceTime. Messages now kind of interacts with the rest of the apps that you have on your phone. So say your friends recommend you a certain type of music, some news, or even say photos. When you go into those respective apps, you will now see those recommended things from your friends pop up and you can always check them out quickly and respond back in messages if you want. And as you can see, Shared With You is available through the rest of these apps and I'm sure it'll be more available as time goes on. Apple is now introducing a new focus system where it kind of takes away all of the notifications and maybe distractions that you get from your device and kind of groups them together. So within notifications, you now have a summary system that will actually impact your do not disturb status and now other people can actually see you're in that mode or that status. The most common ones are personal, work and sleep. So for example, when you're in work mode, you'll only get work notification emails, personal, maybe things like social media notifications will pop up. It's essentially like the OnePlus notification slider, except now it's a digital version, not a physical button. Memories within photos have now been improved. So that's essentially memories or collections of your life that are now grouped together that you can access through the photo app and it'll add an Apple music track in the background to make it a bit more enjoyable and make you relive the moment almost. Wallet has now been improved to reduce the amount of keys that you have to carry. So according to this, you can start your BMW, you can unlock your hotel room, but that's a bit more reliant on those third party, not developers, but third party manufacturers to integrate that into Wallet and for those devices to either start or unlock. Weather has a bit of an update. We've actually got some decent weather here in Toronto, so that's nice to see. It's just got a new refresh with some of the animations. You've got a few more widgets to see things like barometric pressure, pressure. Pressure. <laughs> Maps has a small new update to make it essentially just look a bit nicer. It's available in the current countries, props to us being in Canada and being included, and it's available in other countries soon. So I think it's still a bit limited, but from what I see, it does look pretty gorgeous. So if you do live in those initial six or seven countries, maybe a nice way to use that over Google Maps, if that's your jam. And that's pretty much all of the new features and updates coming to iOS 15. I feel this one was a bit more of a refresh rather than the larger one we saw in iOS 14, but curious what your favorite new feature is, which one will you use the most? I know I will not use maps a lot, but maybe you're one of those people. Hope you guys enjoyed some of this WWDC coverage. If you already haven't, make sure you sub to the channel for more vids and on to, of course, today's episode sponsor, Clean My Mac. So Clean My Mac, whatever we saw launched at WWDC, or you can actually see it installed right now on my 24 inch M1 iMac. It helps declutter my Mac and keeps it running nice and smooth. Even though this is a newer device, I actually find it a lot better on my older 16 inch MacBook Pro, which is now two years old. So it helps free up space. And the most popular feature is Smart Scan, where it examines your system log files and your user cache that's no longer needed, that's kind of old. It does a quick malware check to ensure that your Mac is still safe and checks for things like Bitcoin miners, stuff like that. It'll also help you control and manage all the apps that you currently have on your Mac and you can get rid of those that you no longer need. It essentially breathes new life into older devices and for new ones, it just keeps them optimized so they're running just like they were on day one. You'll get four times faster boot times, two and a half times more app responsiveness. 
and you can free up around five gigs of space. And I know on Macs, storage is definitely a touchy subject because it's so expensive. So if you're interested, of course, a link will be left down below. Hope you guys enjoyed my WWDC coverage. All of the stuff that we kind of just checked out will be on the channel in the next couple of weeks. So make sure you sub to the channel. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave that comment down below. We'll catch the rest of you in one of my next vids. Peace.